there's no way to sugarcoat his performance has been miserable, but I blame the management of that franchise. Greeny, I always thought Daniel Snyder was the worst owner in modern NFL history. Well, he's being rivaled by David Tepper. Uh, he has been a complete and total bust in Carolina. I live down there, so I've watched it up close. Uh, Bryce has not been given a fair chance. I, I think it really is embarrassing and disgraceful for what they have done to him. Uh, and quite frankly, I think if you brought Patrick Mahomes into this franchise, Tom Brady or Peyton Manning uh, as rookies, the Carolina Panthers would have screwed them up just as well as they did to poor Bryce Young. I feel sorry for the young man. Is there no way we can get rid of him? Not without cause, Michael. I have cause. It is because I hate him. Chill out, Paul Finum. Are you pushing false narratives out? Because if you are, stop it ASAP. This is Sports Guy talking that you guys are watching and listening to. I am Dustin Tran, your host, as I am here today to talk about Paul Feynman defending Bryce Young for his failures at the NFL level. Remember, the mainstream media has been doing nothing but making excuses for Bryce Young all week long. Paul Feynman has now become the latest person to make an excuse for Bryce Young's shortcomings at the NFL level. Before I say anything else, though, I want to present you guys with a topic question. So, here it is. Do you agree with Paul Feynman's take on Bryce Young? Hell no. That was a horrible take. What do you mean if you put in Patrick Mahomes, Tom Brady, and Peyton Manning? Those quarterbacks would still fail on the Carolina Panthers. Part of the reason why some of these QBs are taken very high in the draft is because they are expected to carry bad franchises. Whether it is fair or not, that is the expectation for young quarterbacks that are taken at the top of the draft. Some of these guys want these young quarterbacks to stack the deck. But if they wanted to stack the deck in the first place, then that means they know they're not really that great of a quarterback. That means I could just go sign a Jimmy G and call it a day. That's a quarterback that needs to stack the deck. There is nothing good about Bryce Young's ability whatsoever. And before somebody brings up Sam Darnold and Baker Mayfield, at least those two guys have shown ability in the past to succeed if the conditions around them were right. Even if Bryce Young was the next Sam Donald or Baker Mayfield, why is the media acting like this is a good thing? Because that means Bryce Young is a system quarterback at best. Sam Darnold and Baker Mayfield are system quarterbacks at best. When you draft a quarterback with the number one overall pick, particularly a quarterback that was traded for so much in the first place, you're not expecting system QB. You're expecting game changer. You're expecting a QB that can consistently carry his roster week to week, game to game, matchup to matchup. And Bryce Young has shown zero ability to be able to carry a franchise on his back. And I also want to expose Paul Feynman on this as well. He was talking about how Bryce Young was set up to fail from day one, but Paul Feynman really believed that. Then how come he didn't say that in April of 2023? How come when he brought a guest on his show, the guest was talking about how Bryce Young was set up perfectly for the Panthers, and Paul Feynman did nothing but smile and nod his head during the interview, roll the film. His cognitive tests were off the charts. Uh, I think the polish, charisma, natural leadership of Bryce Young impressed David Tepper. Now, remember who you're dealing with here, right? David Tepper comes from working class roots. His mother was a teacher. He washed dis dishes to put himself through business school, and now that business school is named after him. <laughs> so he's willing to make big bets in life, and he's willing to take a guy who he thinks is going to be the face of his franchise. You know, it's a, it's a whole enterprise here at Bank of America Stadium. It's not only football. They have a soccer team. They have a lot of events here. Uh, and they want somebody who's going to be the face of the franchise, a la Cam Newton, who was their last number one overall pick. You're an idiot <laughs> and a scammer. Get exposed, Paul Feinhum. If you really believe Bryce Young was set up for failure, then why did you go ahead and let the guy praise Bryce Young and talk about how the Panthers were going to be successful with Bryce Young at the quarterback position? You didn't say anything then, but this is another example of another guy moving the goalpost in order to create a false narrative about Bryce Young. And that's what I get angry about with the mainstream media. They keep talking like Bryce Young has thrown for 5,000 yards in the season. If you listen to mainstream media and never watched any Panthers games whatsoever, you would have thought Bryce Young threw for over 300 yards every single week, put the team on his back, scored 30 plus points every single week, 
and oh the defense just allowed 40 plus and he never had any help around him when in reality Bryce Young has only thrown for over 300 yards once in a ball game in fact let me throw out some stats for you as well since Frank Wright got fired by the Carolina Panthers Bryce Young has only thrown two touchdowns to five interceptions that's right in eight games outside of Frank Wright Bryce Young has only thrown two touchdowns and he has thrown five interceptions he's been shut out of those games twice yes that's right he scored zero points in two of those games that's absolutely pathetic on any given level there were five games where his team didn't even score an offensive touchdown and of course his team never led in the fourth quarter at any point during the Bryce Young era I know they won two games but those two games they won were walk-off field goals and ugly wins they didn't even hold the lead in the fourth quarter in that time Bryce Young was an absolutely pathetic quarterback for the Carolina Panthers and I understand the situation around Bryce Young was not good at all don't get me wrong I'm not saying that the Panthers did a great job surrounding Bryce Young with weapons and continuity but at the end of the day though life isn't fair and you are expected to overcome those circumstances look at Matthew Stafford on the Detroit Lions he was set up for failure but he was still a successful quarterback look at Joe Burrow his offensive line in Cincinnati was terrible but they set him up for success and what happened Joe Burrow took the Bengals to the Super Bowl in his first full season as a starter I'm not saying Bryce Young has to become this elite quarterback but can you at least show signs of being a competent quarterback look at Sam Howell for an example Sam Howell played on the worst O-line in football last year and he was still able to lead the league in passing for two-thirds of the season and he looked like a relatively productive starting quarterback in the NFL I did not get that vibe when I watched Bryce Young play on the football field I also want to expose another false narrative that ESPN created for Bryce Young during the 2023 NFL draft this was Ryan Clark talking on get up he was raving about the Panthers taking Bryce Young and how he was set up for success there roll the film Listen, I think Bryce Young is a superstar, and I talked to him last night after he was drafted, and he talked about the coaching staff that's there with Frank Wright, Coach McCown, also Thomas Brown as the offensive coordinator. He thinks it's a great place to continue to mature as a quarterback and as a man. I believe he's the perfect fit with the perfect poise for being drafted number one overall and being the leader of an organization. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. I think it's true. You see, fellas, you see what I'm talking about? You see how they changed the narrative real fast? When Bryce Young got drafted, they were talking about, oh man, this dude is set up for success. He's going to be a great player on the Panthers. And look at how the Panthers, they know what they're doing and they're going to be good sooner rather than later. But because Bryce Young is absolute trash, do they hold him accountable? No, they don't. All they just do is say, oh, he needs more weapons. He needs an offensive line. He needs an elite head coach. He needs an elite owner. But the thing is, you look at CJ Stroud. He joined the Houston Texans, a team that had won 11 games in a three-year stretch where his wide receiver won was Nico Collins. Bryce Young is still not a good quarterback at the NFL level. He probably will never be a good quarterback at the NFL level. And guys like Paul Feinham make me extremely frustrated when I hear them talk about Bryce Young because of their constant goalposts being moved. Constant expectations keep getting changed and they keep basically changing the expectations of what Bryce Young is actually supposed to do. When you get drafted number one overall, you're supposed to be a game changer. Bryce Young is not even a game manager. He is a game wrecker. You basically feel hopeless out there knowing that you're not going to win football games more often than not. But that's what happens when you're a small quarterback that's short, small, and slow. You can't succeed with those three factors unless you play kicker or punter. And if you have those traits as a quarterback, you're not going to succeed at the NFL level. I don't care who you are you better have that positive outlier somewhere you better have the ability to throw the ball 70 yards down the field if you're that small and that slow as a quarterback but it's the mainstream media do you really expect them to tell the truth hell no they're not going to tell the truth so that is why i do not agree with paul Feinum's take on bryce Young, as he was extremely biased in his analysis on bryce Young. remember go ahead and subscribe to sports guy talking like the video and please comment down below if you guys do that i'm gonna shout you guys out in my instagram story every monday that'll be for the at dust nash tran instagram account make sure to follow me on instagram at dust nash tran and that sports guy talking also go follow me on twitter at dust nash tran again go ahead and do those things that i just told you guys to go do Hopefully, you guys enjoy the content that was just produced. Peace out. I hope you enjoyed that video. 
Want more Sports Guy Talking, the home of great sports content? Make sure you click that subscribe button to get the latest from Sports Guy Talking. Go ahead and like the video, comment down below, check the description box on the video in order to follow my Instagram and Twitter. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from the YouTube channel, Sports Guy Talking.